come in. Well, 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 look who's here. I haven't seen you in many a year. If I knew you were coming, I'd have baked a cake, baked a cake, baked a cake. If I knew you were coming, I'd Hi, everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. I hope you're all having a great summer. The cameraman and I just got back from our three days in Atlantic City. Um, did you have a good time, cameraman? It was very, very hot. It was. They were having a, a heat wave here in New Jersey. You walked out of that casino and the humidity was brutal. You just wanted to melt. It was really hot. But anyway, we're back and I'm here um, to show you a new recipe I have. Now, you know that old saying, when life hands you lemons, make lemonade? Well, I love lemonade. In fact, I have lemonade in my mason jar right here. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious. The way I make my lemonade is, I, I don't drink soda, so I either drink iced tea or lemonade. So I put water in there, and I put a little packet of stevia, the stevia in the raw, and then a lot of times I'll put my fresh lemon juice in, but if I don't have fresh lemon juice, I keep my big bottle of real lemon in the refrigerator and I put a few squirts of that. Some ice cubes in it and it's great. So anyway, I have my lemonade, but you know, when life gives you lemons, you don't have to just make lemonade. There's plenty of other things you can make. Cameraman, can you think of anything else you can make with lemons? Um, lemon cheesecake. Well, now you spoiled it. Oh, sorry. Because we're making lemon white chocolate mini cheesecakes today. I thought the cameraman was going to say one of his crazy drinks that contain lemon juice. But, oh well, he said the cheesecake. So now you know. We're gonna make our lemon white chocolate mini cheesecakes, and they are so good. So should we get started, cameraman? Let's get started. All righty. Take a little sip though, cause it's hot. Okay. First thing you're gonna do is take a 12 cup cupcake tin, and you're gonna put your cupcake papers in there. Now, just a little hint. They sell these in everywhere. I think I bought mine in Walmart a few years ago. But these are sold to hold spaghetti. But I found that they're a great idea to put your cupcake papers in. And I'm always using so many cupcake papers, and so I keep them all in here. So that was just a little tip for you. Let me move this over to the side. So I've already done that. I put my cupcake papers in the tin. Now, what you're gonna need is you will need some white baker's chocolate. Now this little box contains four ounces. So it's a bar, you're gonna cut it in half and each half will be two ounces. So you're gonna take two ounces of your baker's white chocolate and you're gonna melt it in the microwave. I just melted on 30 second intervals. I think this took maybe a little over a minute, but you wanna keep checking it so you don't burn it. And then you're just gonna put it aside. Okay, the next thing you're gonna need is either a food processor or a Ninja. And I've had this Ninja for years and I like to use it. So what we're gonna put in our Ninja to make our crust is shortbread cookies. Now, I love Lorna Dunes. Have you all heard of Lorna Dunes? I love these. Um, and they are shortbread cookies. So what you're gonna do is buy a box of Lorna Dunes, and you're going to put, I'm gonna say maybe about 15, 17 of the Lorna Dunes in your Ninja. And then you're just gonna hit it and pulse it. If you don't have a Ninja, use your food processor. So we're gonna do little pulses. We want to get fine crust. There we go. Woo! That looks pretty good. Okay. I'm going to remove the top. 
and added to those crumbs, and yes, they're all finely ground, we are going to put butter. We're going to put in here two tablespoons, I've already pre-measured everything, of melted butter. And we're going to put in, let me just see, two tablespoons of white sugar. And I'm going to have this recipe down below in the description box for you. So now we have the shortbread crumbs, we have the melted butter, and we have the um, sugar. So I'm going to just put this back on. And I always have trouble getting it back on. Right, cameraman? That's for sure. <laughs> Come on, little ninja. Get on there. There you go. And we're just going to pulse it a few more times because we want to get all three of those ingredients combined. I have to tell you, getting back to our Atlantic City trip, for those that are wondering if we won any money, did we win any money? Money, cameraman? I won five dollars. In the penny machine? Absolutely. Well, I won zero, but what we did get is a free, what was it, cameraman? <laughs> a free flashlight. A free flashlight. And it was so funny. If you want to see what happened, you can, uh, I'll put the link below, you can go and uh, See the video I just posted of our Atlantic City trip. It was quite entertaining. So these are all mixed together. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our cupcake tin and in each one of these in the bottom you want to put about a tablespoon of your crumb mixture. And then what I like to do is, you can press it down with your hands if you like and all, but I like to take the back of my measuring cup. This is like a quarter of a cup. And if you press it in, it's perfect. It's perfect for the bottom of the uh, cupcake papers. So let me do another one. Just shake it around and then press it down. So I'm gonna continue to do all of these um, cupcake papers. And then the cameraman and I will be back to show you what we do next. Okay, as you can see, I filled all of the cupcake papers with the um, crumb, sugar, um, and butter mixture. So I'm just gonna set this aside for now. What I meant to tell you was um, even though you're only using a certain amount of those uh, shortbread cookies, don't eat the rest. Put them aside because we're going to need those. Um, I'll show you at the end, all right? So no eating the leftover cookies. All righty, next, with your electric mixer, I have the stand mixer. If you don't have a stand mixer, use the hand mixer. You're going to put in two 8-ounce blocks of softened cream cheese. Okay, we're going to add a half a cup of white granulated sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. I have this Madagascar vanilla. It's so good, but it's a little on the pricey side, but I found it actually in TJ Maxx. So keep your eyes open. In goes the vanilla. And we're going to mix that until it's smooth. Okay. So we're getting that all mixed up until it's nice and combined and creamy. Okay, let me just scrape the sides with my spatula. And I want to also give a big shout out to all my subscribers, but especially to all my new subscribers. Um, you really helped me to make my channel grow. And I only need, I think, a few more and I'll have the 2,000 subscribers. You're liable to see me do a happy dance. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hit that little red subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it. And this way you'll get a notification um, whenever 
I have a video up and you certainly don't want to miss the antics between me and the cameraman. Right, cameraman? Those are not antics, that's what? the real deal. Oh yeah, that is true. <laughs> okay, let me just mix it for a few seconds more. All righty, that looks good. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to add to that after we beat it all, lemon juice. And this is going to be the juice of two lemons, which should equal one quarter of a cup of lemon juice. Now, as I mentioned to you, if you don't have squeezed fresh lemons to squeeze, you can use the real lemon juice that you get in the bottle. And also, from my lemon, I grated off the skin, which is called the zest. And I'm putting in, I think it was a teaspoon of the lemon zest. So let me just put that right in. Let me mix that. All right, I just mixed that for a second. Now I'm going to add in, it's the good part, the melted, the two ounces of the melted white chocolate. Is this looking good, cameraman? Surely. We're not making any ordinary cheesecake here. No, no. Mmm. And I always make these recipes right before I've had lunch. Oh, I don't know. But this will have to be refrigerated for a while, so I won't be tempted to eat anything before I have my lunch. I'll save it for, for watching TV tonight. All right, so I got that in there. So let me mix that all up. Now, last but not least, we're going to add two eggs. You're going to add them um, one at a time. Add one in. Just mix it till it's, you know, combined, and then we'll add the other egg in. Okay, put the other one in now. Mix that. beater down, my bowl down, get my beater off. Oh, gonna be messy. Dee, but where's your apron today? <laughs> oh, scrape that off. My grandsons were here, they'd be licking this. Right, Grandpa? <laughs> Certainly. In fact, I want to lick it. And everybody that says, don't do it, don't do it. There's raw eggs in it. Um, I'm an old grandma, and I've been licking the beater since I was a kid, and I'm still here. So, I'll leave that part up to you. To me, the best part of all is licking the beaters. All right, so I'm taking our filled cupcake liners, and I'm going to put the mixture into each one. So once I get these all filled, I'm going to put them in the oven. I had preheated the oven to 325 degrees. I'm going to put them in the oven for anywhere from 17 to 20 minutes because everyone's oven is different. And you want the centers to be almost set. So after I put these in the oven and I take them out, I'm going to let them cool completely. And then I'm gonna be back to show you what we do next, okay? Hi everyone, okay, I'm back. Um, I baked all the uh, little mini cheesecakes and they were filled right up to the top. And in my oven, they took about 20 minutes. So I put them out to cool and now they're cool to the touch. So what you're gonna do now is I took the remaining shortbread cookies and I coarsely chopped them. I just did it with my hand. I took the cookies and I broke them into little pieces. And the remaining chocolate 
that I had left. The other two ounces, I melted that in the microwave. I happen to have one of these little squirt bottles, but you don't need it. You can just drizzle it on there however you want. So all you're gonna do now is you're gonna take a few pieces of the shortbread cookie and you're gonna just put them on top in the middle. You're not gonna cover the whole thing. I'm just gonna do one for you here and show you. You're gonna put um, a few pieces, maybe I've got four pieces. And then you're gonna take some of your melted white chocolate and you're just gonna drizzle it over the top of, just like this, over the top of the cookies. There we go, there's a little air bubble in there. And this is what they're going to look like. And eventually, once they cool, these are all gonna go in the refrigerator for a minimum of two hours. And once they come out of the refrigerator and they're cool, you're gonna peel these wrappers off them and you'll see these delightful little cheesecakes and you'll see the layers on there with the decorations on the top. So I'm gonna continue doing these and then I'll be back in a couple of hours um, after they've chilled in the refrigerator and I'll take a bite of one and show you what the finished product looks like. All right, I took the little mini cheesecakes out of the refrigerator. They were in there for two hours and they look absolutely divine. See how nice? I decorated the top, I put the little pieces of shortbread on there, and then I drizzled the white chocolate over it. I'm going to show you now what they look like without the wrappers, because actually when you serve them on a platter, you should probably serve them without the wrappers. I don't know, cameraman, if you can get in on that one to see the crust on there. Can you see him, cameraman? Mm, close as I can get. All right, well, I'll put a still in the video. But anyway, um, this is what they look like. So when you take them out, they're, they're scrumptious. They have the shortbread on the bottom, and they have that delicious um, lemon, uh, white chocolate filling, and then on the top, we have our little decorations that also taste good. So, you probably didn't notice, but you'll get 12 out of this recipe. Unfortunately, there's only 11. No, it didn't get ruined. I ate it already! So I don't have to do a taste testing. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this recipe and you enjoyed the video. Um, don't forget, before you leave, go down below and hit the red subscribe button and the little bell next to it. And you know I love the comments, and most of you that follow me, you do know that I try to answer as many of you back as I can. And give me a thumbs up so YouTube will promote this um, cooking show of mine. So anyway, I love you all. I appreciate you following me, and stay tuned for next time. Toodle!